Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we're playing some more Mono Green. Um, so this uh, deck exists a little bit as a hybrid between the kind of Mono Green Devotion decks of old and those Mono Green Stompy decks that are more just about kind of ramping up into big, big creatures. So we've kind of ditched the uh, Storm the Festivals, which allows us to kind of play bigger creatures than, than the kind of five drops that... Uh, that that uh, previous deck maxes out at, but it has very many, very many similarities to Mono Green Devotion in that we are still running the four copies of Nekthos with the kind of Sunken Citadel combo, which also works with Castle Garen Brig, of course, but just that kind of putting lots of green pips onto the battlefield is still part of our game plan. Um, we are also, we've ditched the ley line of the Guild Pact just because it didn't really have much going for it, to be honest, but we are keeping hold of the Arch Druid's Charms. So uh, if you haven't seen this card before, this is a green, green, green instant um, that says choose one, search your library for creature or land card and reveal it, put it onto the battlefield tapped if it's a land card, otherwise put it into your hand. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control that deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control, or exile target artifact or enchantment. So this allows us to just go and fetch something like Nykthos or Sunken Citadel or the castle straight from our library, put it onto the battlefield, so that's very good for three mana. But we can also tutor up any particular creature we might want, deal with an opposing creature, uh, get rid of problematic artifacts or enchantments. There's just a lot of versatility in this card, and this is really the only deck that can play it because of its restrictive mana cost. Um, and you know there are a number of cards in here which uh, make the most use of uh, those kind of that kind of mono green. Um, so we'll just run quickly through the rest of the cards in the deck. So we have our eight uh, one mana mana elf, so four Lanoir elves and four elvish mystic. Four Wolf Willow Haven, so this is another ramp card. Um, turns one of our lands into a uh, into an additional, uh, it producing an additional green mana. We do want to be careful. Um, generally, you want to uh, target a basic land with this, just because things like Field of Ruin um, can be a real feel bad if they target a non basic land with this on it. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind. And our three drops are green pips as well as our Archdruid's Charm. We've got four Old Growth Trolls, um, two Pelucranos Reborn, so this is a good mid-range threat. Four five with reach is very competitive stats. Then later in the game we can pay six and two life to turn it into what is essentially Worm Coil Engine. Um, which will very quickly close out the game if it's not answered, and even if it is answered, most of most uh, graveyard-based removal will uh, will leave behind creatures anyway. Then we have four Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner, Beckoner, so one of the great engine cards of the deck, not only allowing us to pseudo-ramp with its untap ability, but drawing us cards whenever creatures with power four or greater enter the battlefield. We've got one Vivian Arkmo Ranger, so as well as providing some decent uh, devotion um, with its three green prips, pips, it's also a removal spell. Um, if we have a creature, it can also grow our creatures as well. And we could, and potentially later in the game, we can go and fetch something from the, from the sideboard if we are so minded to using this this ability. Uh, we've got two Vorin Clex, so this is the new. Uh, well, I say new; it's not that new now. It's been nearly a year, but March of the Machine version of Vorin Clex, so six six trample and with uh, six six trample reach for five. When it enters the battlefield, we can search our library for two forest cards, put them into our hand, and then we can turn it into the Grand Evolution, which is just a very kind of game-breaking saga. I won't go through it all. You can kind of read it at your own leisure. Uh, but if we ever do manage to flip it, then obviously uh, we're in for a good time. Uh, and then four Cavalier of Thorns as well. Seen this in Mono Green Devotion many times. Five, six Reach ramps us back into the battlefield. Then we have our big, big payoff card. So we've got, in terms of creatures, two Titan of Industry. And so seven, seven for seven with Reach of Trample that uh, has a various abilities when it enters the battlefield. One Cityscape Levelless. This is very good at uh, just blowing up what the opponent's doing. Um, whenever uh, whenever you cast it and whenever it attacks as well, so it's that kind of repeatable removal that means that if it's not answered, then the opponent very quickly uh, just uh, loses all their relevant uh, cards. And then one Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, at the very top end, so 10 mana, 10-10, uh, exile two permanents when, it, when you cast it, and then, you know, if you attack with this a couple of times, the game's over anyway. And two copies of the Great Henge, so... Nine mana in theory, obviously always much cheaper than that, but a good, uh, just an engine by itself, turning all of our creatures into card draw and also uh, gaining us some life as well. 
in terms of our lands, we are only running 22 lands, just because we do have a lot of manor elves and the like. So eight basic forests, four Castle Garen Briggs, two Lair of the Hydra, and then we have the four Nykthos and Thor, four Sunken Citadel uh, combination. So this, this combination of lands will sometimes be a bit awkward. Um, we might miss sometimes the opportunity to cast an Elvish Mystic or Lanoir Elves on turn one. Um, but I think, in general, it is worth it for that additional uh, ramping ability that Sunken Citadel gives you. Then the sideboard, so we've got Tormod's Crypt to help deal with the opponent's graveyard. Pithing Needle shuts down, scalpels away particular cards. Scavenging Ooze, again, is Graveyard Hate. Uh, Reclamation Sage um, can help blow up artifacts or enchantments. S uh, set yeah. I mean, I've gone black. Uh, Citizen? Citizen? The Petitioner um, is a 2-2, which uh, just gives us some life gain, so it can help stabilize us against aggro decks. Similarly with Tranquil Frillback, that has life gain, but has some other utility as well. A couple of Elga Elder Gargaroths, so this, again, is very good against aggro. Um, just if this, uh, if, you, if the opponent can't remove this, it just sits on the battlefield and generates uh, an unbeatable amount of value. Silverback Elder, good way of uh, turning our creature spells into additional value. Carnage Tyrant is anti-control technology, another type of industry. And then just a little bit of spice at the top end is one copy of Emrakul, The Promised End. So 13, 13 for 13. Um, obviously, in reality, ends up being a bit less than that, depending on what we've got in our graveyard. But we can take control of the opponent during their next turn. And then we're left behind with a 13, 13 flying trample with protection from instance. So you, you will generally win when you cast this. Um, sad thing is the opponent will often concede before you get to take their turn, because taking the opponent's turn is always fun and quite novel. So yeah, that's also one copy in the sideboard. So that is Mono Green Stompy. So thank you very much for watching. As ever, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, let's go on to the ladder. Okay, we are on the draw. Yeah, this sounds a little on the slow side. Mm, if we're on the play, I'd think about it. But I'm going to set this one back. This is this is a huge amount better, but. We tried. Hands great, magic's great. They still, they still haven't fixed this, um, whatever's going on with this, so let's pop Poly K into play just because. No more lies in a map deck. What's what, what's going on here? Confusing. Stick a wolf willow haven on this land. Okay, I kind of I kind of get what's happening here, so I'll do it again. And don't think I won't. So it's kind of Flash Flyers deck. Um, yeah, I was expecting just Azorius uh, in Soul Artifacts, but no, they've got a slightly different uh, thing going on here. Which is cool. Um, well now. Um, I feel like it's asking for trouble to try and play Cavalier of Thorns. But you know what? Make him have it. If it's... Ooh, baby. That's the stuff. And it also clears three, three Vanuar Elves off the top of our library. <laughs> that would have been rough if we had not, if we just drawn those. Okay, that's fine. It's a bit of a bit of a tempo uh, swing, but... So let's play another elf. Into another... into Cavalier can come back again.
okay, they're going to try and race me out of this. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Because I have Archdruid's Charm. So let's kill the spell queller. Play Wolf Willow Haven. Pass the turn. I suppose I could have used Archangel Avison. Remarkable. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should have gone and got an Ulamog instead. With Archdruid's Charm. I don't know. Hard to say, isn't it? would quite like to draw something good. That's not it. So we just wait. I don't hate being given extra cards with Fairy Mastermind. Uh, okay, we're getting towards the point where this is going to be lethal now, so... Yeah. Ah, come on! Yeah, these trolls are not really doing it for us here, huh? Okay, let's scoop this one up. So, let's pop in Elder Gargaroth. Uh, another Titan of Industry. Uh, I quite like Emrakul the Promised End here. I think that'll do. We'll take out our old growth trolls, I think. They're uh, just... Not really doing anything for us in this matchup. Just being old and growthy and troubles. Mm. Again, this, there's just nothing here. Uh, okay, that's moderately better, but still not amazing. Land, please. Cool. Yeah, I kind of knew that was coming, but didn't have much choice in the matter. All right, let's just start playing threats and see how long, see how, see how many of them they can counter. Yep, your spell queller is no good to you, is no good here. 
Okay, so, so it's more of a kind of flash deck. Okay, Azorius flash. Just a lot of those happen to be flyers, obviously. Yeah, fair enough. Well, they didn't counter my Cavalier, so I'm going to assume they can't counter my Titan of Industry. So I'm going to gain 5 life, make a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, this is how you have a good time. Yeah, they're still taking the trample damage from that, so they go to one. Let's play Vorin Clex. Grab some forests. Yep. Oh, I didn't get to flip it. I mean, I wouldn't have done, but... Disappointing. Um, do I want anything different on the draw? I don't think so. It's just going to be tougher. Do I want any life gain? Really, anything anything that's vulnerable to Spell Queller just isn't particularly great here. I imagine they probably had a Spell Queller in hand, but... Just... When you're playing a big creatures, there's not a lot you can do. This hand is... it's kind of meh. Meh being a technical term. And it's very meh. Okay, I don't hate having the additional maps here. Uh, do I want to play Sunken Citadel or Lair? I think I should play Lair. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. My graveyard isn't really that big a deal. Uh, gives me an opportunity to land a Kior anyway. I don't really, don't really want three of them. I'm gonna be honest with you, deck. You could, you could do, you could stand to do us a bit better than that. Okay, I'll just draw some more land then, shall I? <laughs> Oh, and that's a big yikes. Okay, well... Ooh, thank god that, thank god that worked. Okay, let's, um... Credit 4-4, gain 5 life again. I think that's just a pretty decent play pattern here. Draw two cards. More mana ramp. I don't want it. Stop giving me mana ramp. I want things which aren't mana. Okay, thank you. That, that counts. So let's have another Garg. Another Castle Garen Brig. Honestly, I'm losing losing my marbles here. I'm just staring at too many forests. I want to play the promised end. Please let me play the promised end. 
You know you want to let me play it. I'm gonna kill you anyway, but you know. Sun tap Nykthos. I love to make a splash. Now, I know the technically correct play is just to kill them, but I, uh, I want to take control of their turn. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put them to three. I know this isn't technically the right thing to do. Don't at me. What is that username? What is this hand? Oh, that's incredibly ugly. Colourless land and endless three pip spells. Okay, well, we're going to have to hope. Well, it's not good news, lads. Ooh, this could be a very short game one. Yeah, I still can't cast anything, which is not ideal. I'm going to suggest that that's not ideal. Well, I'm probably just dead this turn, aren't I? Feels that way. Does not look good. was fun, let's not do that again. Right. Dog. Titan. Tranquil Frillback. Petitioner. Six cards to cut. Six cards to cut. I think we can lose most of our top end here. Is even Titan actually any good? It's probably a bit too slow. Let's just get rid of it. And we'll get rid of one of the Great Henges as well. We'll just focus on kind of the opposite of what we did last game, last match. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Yeah, you're beginning to annoy me now. This is terrible. Where have all these terrible lands come from? Who asked for this? Nobody.
nobody. Disgusting. Okay, let's have Pelucranos in play. At least that'll give me something to think about. Alright, let's take out their Hoplite now. Still don't think we're attacking here. Ooh, that's a that's a rough state of affairs. I've survived an apocalypse. Let's take out that tenth district legionnaire here. We're gonna tear you apart. Mm, let's not attack, actually. Let's keep our Vivian alive. Well, pretty rude, isn't it? Back to the woods. I'm having words with you. Let's flip up a Lucranos. Start gaining seven a turn. Seems decent. Oh, he prevents all the damage to it. How rude. I wanted to gain seven life. And now I shall. Great day to fight. Let's kill Gigantha. You do you. Gonna go for a swim and cool that's off. that's pretty cheeky. It's just uh start racing them here and hope for the best. Oh, stop it. Thank you. Uh, layer of the Hydra will help. I wonder how big I can make this. Six... Probably quite big. Well, I might draw something better. We can but hope. <laughs> So six, uh, I could probably feed quite a lot of mana through that. Mm, actually, Cavalier is probably just better, so let's play that. Go grab 
Another Castle Garen Brig. Uh, two, three. So I think we can turn this into a six, six. Yeah, we could have turned it. Yeah, we could have turned it into a seven, seven there. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I don't like that stick, but I think I'm just kind of stuck with it. So I think I'm blocking Virtuoso whatever they do here. Yep, fine. So let's activate there of the Hydra. Let's turn it into a 10 10. Okay. They still can't quite kill me though, which is good. So this makes it a 10-11, and I have 11 life. Okay. Well, that was a grind. So we're going to be on the draw this time. So let's pop back in the Great Henge, just because it is a source of life gain. Take out one of our Wolf Willow Havens. Go from there. What is it with the hands with no land in this match? I know what you're doing. Um, hmm. Well, we're keeping it. Let's just pop back. Well, I kind of want Arch through his charm, but I can't actually cast it at the moment, so let's just pop back Petitioner. Another Nykthos! What good news! Well, I'm not... Not getting me that easily. Ocean surges, life thrives. This is a pretty rough state of affairs, isn't it? Just gonna slip away. Okay, well that's something, so let's get old growth troll on, on the battlefield. Um, no. I'm unmoved by your presence. Okay, I'm gonna make you have it.
Turns out they had it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 what are we doing here? Um, dying, most likely, but in the meantime. Let's play Tranquil Frill back. Pay. Pay. Uh, is this an enchantment? Yeah, it is. Pay. Stop it! Okay, well, I'll just die then, shall I? Jesus! I mean, we had properly terrible hands all of those games. It was very annoying. Oh well. I'll move on. Hmm. It's not an amazing hand, but it'll do. Okay, let's get Troll out under any counter spells. I could live with that as a concept. That's more annoying, I have to say, but can't be helped. Gosh, I wonder if the opponent has a Wandering Emperor. Well, I'm kind of okay to let them have the troll here. Yep. Because then I can play Vorinplex, which I think is... will just help us here, so... No, oh, they may have supreme verdict. Okay, that implies that they do not. Keep watch for intruders. Well, let's see what they've got in mind here. Another wandering emperor, sure thing. I'm just going to kill it with Cityscape Leveler here. Well, they're persistent, I'll give them that. Now, that is 
That's a lot. Oh, and that's a bad miss. Let's just play the Great Henge instead. Okay, main phase memory deluge. We love to see it. Hmm. Well, that's fine, I suppose. So let's fire up the lair of the Hydra for try and do nine. I think we can do nine. Yep. Cool. Okay. So, Carnage Tyrant. Pithing Needle. Emrakul. I think is pretty good anti-control tech here. And let's take out Titan of Industry. Vorinclex. Yep, that'll do. Okay, we uh, had a pretty good run of it there against Azorius Control, so let's see what it can do post-sideboard. This is not a good hand. This is a better hand, so let's pop back for now Arch Druid's Charm. I would have liked to keep the Pithing Needle, but just not enough green land, which is a problem. It's a problem, and I don't want it. Building up to cityscapes is going to be quite useful here. What isn't useful is drawing the Great Henge when you have nothing on the battlefield. Hmm, they've been quite aggressive in their use of uh, their removal. I think they've missed a land drop as well, haven't they? Not anymore, but okay, fair enough. So they're holding up a counter spell here. So do I try and... <laughs> yeah, fine. I was going to say, this isn't the sort of game I'm going to win just by hanging around, so... Yeah, that's the right order to do it, because we then can't get the thing off the top of the no land again oh how I wish cityscape level were available to me now I will have to take a hit from Lyra At least this is a cast trigger, so I can just kill it, whatever, but... No counter spell? Okay. Hmm. 
Let me play the Great Henge. Okay, let's have Elvish Mystic just to give us a target for these map tokens. Mm. I still don't quite have the mana to do everything I want to do, so... Yes! No, no, don't shuffle away. Mm -mm. I wanted to go and get Emrakul. Now I can't. Sad. Okay, so they're digging for things. The verdict's not even very good for them here. So let's just play the Great Henge. Just because it gives us some life gain as well as card draw as and when we're able to use it. And verdict here. Yeah, verdict's just not very good. Right, okay, well, let's get Cityscape Leveler back. It will draw us a card. Because I can. And I'll do it again. Yeah, that's not really worth doing, it's got Trample. Is something truly spectacular. Let's get moving. Have another Lanoir Elf. Okay, yeah, you can attack my Kiora, but if that's all you're doing, that's not very interesting. Got that sinking feeling again. So this game feels like it's moving towards inevitability, but see what happens. I'll just keep playing stuff until I feel like not playing stuff anymore. Um, how much? Well, hang on. Uh, to two four six. I mean, yes. One drop ripples and grows. All 
Alright, let's get rid of both the creature producing lands. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, that was uh, Mono Green Stompy. Very good as ever. Mono Green decks usually are. Uh, got a little bit smacked around by the uh, heroic deck, but we did draw quite badly there. But that is the that is the lot with this deck. Sometimes you will just draw the wrong side of everything. So yeah, this is the deck list one more time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And see you next time.